What's up, Erin here, back at you again with another video. Um, sorry, I'm trying to train myself to look into the camera lens instead of at myself and it's proving so hard. But anyway, yeah. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing some, styling up some post lockdown outfits. So just some things that are a little bit less on the casual side, maybe, well, anything that's not joggers or um, leggings, that's the word. Um, but yeah, you might see a few dresses, a few skirts, a few jeans and a nice top. But um, yeah, so but before we get into it even, if you could um, subscribe to my channel if you like my content, that would mean the world to me. Um, and as well, I'll link all my social medias down below. Um, if you could drop me a follow over there, that would be amazing. You might get to see some of these outfits styled up um, over there. And yeah, let's get on into it. Okay, so I know you can't see my head. It's just going to need to be that way. <laughs> But um, for the first outfit, we have this here. I'll come a bit closer, actually, so you can see the top a bit better. Um, it's just this corset from Misguided. It's got this draping detail across the front, and then it just zips up at the back like so. Sorry, you might have seen the mess of my hair that's at the back, but anyway. And it comes down to about here. I've just tucked it in. Um, I paired it with these straight leg jeans from Topshop that are ripped just to show a little bit more skin and just the contrast I think because this is quite a dark top like with the black and just dark kind of rose and detail on it I thought with a lighter pair of jeans it kind of brightens it up a little bit it makes it a bit more spring summery um but yeah so that's the jeans I've got this clear belt on as well from Pretty Little Thing just a double eyelet thing just to not take away from the colour contrast there um, and then I've also paired it with these black heels which are from Topshop and um, they're not too high they're probably like walkable um, and <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like heels unless it's for photos but um, I actually like these ones because they're a wee bit more sturdy. Okay so <laughs> for this next outfit um, I'm gonna do like three trouser -y type ones, three dressy type ones and then three skirts um, so yeah, I've popped on these trousers which are from Topshop. I'll take the blazer off so you can see them a wee bit better. Then I'll just pop that there for going back on in a minute. Um, they've just kind of got this paper bag waist. They've got pockets here. I also have them in pink and I was struggling with which ones to choose, but went with the red. Um, I paired them with the same heels because I can't remember where that I put the rest of my heels. And yeah, so we've, yeah, we've got um, these uh, trousers just kind of taper out the sides. Um, I really like these. I think they're so flattering on and kind of do good things for your figure because I kind of go like that. So I'm quite wide and I, I'm a rectangle. So these ones, well, maybe more of a square, but um, yeah, these ones are really smart. Um, I'll come a bit closer so you can see the top. So it's just this kind of Versace-esque print. I got this from Quiz years and years and years and years and years ago. Um, but yeah, I think it's still really nice. Um, and I'll pop on the blazer again, just so you can see. I was gonna pop a blazer on with the last outfit as well, by the way, but I completely forgot, so sorry. <laughs> oh, I have done that very wrong. <laughs> there we go. Sort myself out in the mirror. <laughs> So yeah, I just popped it on with this black blazer. Um, I, maybe another colour would also look nice, but I've just popped it on with the black. I think from the back it looks really smart with the black oversized blazer. And the black kind of ties in with the heels, and the, and the gold on the heels ties in with the gold on the top. But yeah, that is this outfit. Um, I could also pop on a wee handbag with that actually. Just sort that out later. <laughs> yeah, just something like this. And then even for the last outfit, this top would work really well with the last outfit, like the pair of jeans from the clip before. Um, and also, I'm actually thinking this red bag probably would have looked really nice with that outfit. So yeah, you can picture that last outfit with the red bag too. <laughs> okay guys, so for the final outfit for um, the trousery section, I've decided to pair it this top 
um, with some long flowy trousers. So we've had jeans, we've had tapered trousers and we've had flowy trousers. Um, I've done two different things with the legs. Hopefully you guys can see that. So you've obviously got the one side with it out over the heel and the one side with it tucked in. And I've basically just tucked in all the excess at the back so it kind of looks like it's baggy. But it was just so you can see the two different styles. But yeah, I'll untuck this one just so you can make it look even. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'll come in a wee bit closer. This top is from Motel Rocks, as is the trouser. Um, I've got just this bra on from Lounge Underwear, just because I thought the colours kind of go together. Um, I really love this top, I think it's really nice. And I thought the green tones would tie in with the green trousers. Um, and then I've just paired it. I went and had a hunt for some heels for you guys, because I am that dedicated. But um, I just paired it with these heels here. Um, they're from Topshop. Um, they're just like a nude croc print um, you could pop on a wee blazer with this one too so I've just got this one on here from Pretty Little Thing um, I feel like the colour kind of is like a bit more of a green undertone so it fits in with a lot of the tones in the top and then oops. cue everything falling I'm just going to pop it on with this bag here from Primark, which is from my handbag collection. Um, all of these you could see um, from there. So, yeah. Okay guys, so the next outfit is this one here. So I've just uh, popped on this place. So it's from um, Boohoo from years ago, like a long, long time ago. But um, I really still like the pattern. It is like, well, the shorts but it kind of looks a little bit like a dress so yeah I've just put on this little t-shirt underneath it's just it's just naked 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 on it but you can't really see that um and just to spice it up a little bit instead of painting everything with heels or just trainers I put it on with my Dot Martens just to kind of ground up the look a little bit because it's really feminine on top but I think adding on the Doc Martens makes it look a little bit more edgy um but yeah I think um if you were going for a jacket over this one, maybe a nice denim jacket would be quite nice. Or even if you were wanting to grunge it up even more, add on an oversized leather jacket maybe, or a fitted leather jacket. Um, I'll try that on now for you so you can see. Sorry, excuse the random hanger in the background. But yeah, so I've just popped it on with this oversized leather jacket and then I've just added this white western bag um, from River Island. This bag is from, I said in my handbag collection, it's from Topshop because it's not. <laughs> um, just to add in a little bit of colour again, just to kind of tone in with the girly side of things. But yeah, that is this outfit. <laughs> okay, so next up we have this outfit here. This is a shirt dress from Misguided, um, uh, I think a couple of years ago. Um, before you put it on and like cinch up with this belt here, it, it's a bit daunting, but um, it's also a bit daunting in general just with the pattern. Um, if I come a bit closer you'll actually be able to see, um, it's like this oriental print, um, so yeah, um, but yeah, so I've decided to unbutton a few of the top buttons and wear it off the shoulder, um, but you can, obviously, I'll show you in a second, it tied up a bit differently, dressed up a bit differently even. I've paired it on with these heels from Topshop, they're just suede with a little silver ring there, um, or your ankle. I do have lace up heels which I wanted to pair with it but I can't find them. I know they're in my wardrobe somewhere but yeah but I thought even like these are still fine with the little silver detail which matches like the silver on the buttons and stuff but um oh, pop the button. I'll move it up for you just so you can see. So obviously you can leave it with a bunch of buttons undone and have a bit more cleavage showing or you can button it up a bit more. So even just a couple of top buttons undone um, it's all about playing around with how it sits with this belt um, and then also you can have it all the way up. I'll just look in the mirror to try and see it a bit better for you guys, which I also think is really nice. But I do prefer a bit of the skin showing at the top. Yeah, so if you just have it kind of like, this is also really smart. But I think having a little bit of skin at the top also helps to break it up. So it just depends on... What you want to do but it does still look really nice it has a little bit of a longer see how the hem kind of goes a little bit longer at the back which i find really helpful because you don't want something that's like too short all the way around and um, 
but yeah i think this dress is really smart it's very out there so yeah but i think this would be amazing to wear post lockdown just go out with a bang on your first night out you know <laughs> Okay, so this is the last dress I'm going to show you today. Um, I just wanted to show you something as well. The dress from the previous clip you can also wear just as a fancy like over shirt thing and I think it also looks really nice um, just as kind of a coat type vibe. But I'll take this off <laughs> just so you can see the actual outfit here. Um, sorry if you can see this, but um, yeah, so basically it's just this Opali dress. I got this, this on, it was on sale this, in the last lockdown, I think it was like 15 quid and I was just like, well, I can't not get it. Um, so it's just kind of got this like ruching detail all the way up it um, and it's this nude colour. I paired it with these heels here, they're from Primark, they're like a snake skin vibe. I don't know if you can see them if I step back as far as humanly possible. <laughs> But yeah, um, I thought to kind of casual this one down as well, if you wanted to, because it's quite a fancy dress, you can style it up or down. You can add on just a little denim jacket even, and then even if you wanted to, you could pair it with some chunky trainers. Um, I'd probably pair this with again, like that's uh, this bag here, or even like this one, just to add a little bit more interest into the outfit since it is just the one like plain colour and stuff um but yeah that's the last dress outfit to show you okay so next up we have this outfit here i'm kind of doing like fancier ones for you um we can maybe do like a bit more of a chill vibe if you'd like in a future video but yeah we'll go with this just now but um so what i've done is i've turned that last dress into a skirt just by tucking in you can't even tell just tucking in the top half Oh, sorry, I've not literally taken my tag off this top yet. And then this top here is from Motel Rocks. It's just got this kind of ruching, stretchy detail in here. And then these um, puffy sheer sleeves. Uh, I actually thought this looked quite nice together. I've just kept on the same heels as well. Probably just style it in a similar way, like blazer or a denim jacket, as you can see over here. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I just thought this was actually a really pretty outfit. Okay guys, so for this next outfit, I've kind of chilled out a little bit on the top here. So you've got just a little um, Adidas kind of cropped tank top there. And I've also popped on this cropped denim jacket with just this little nylon shoulder bag with a chain. But then when you go down, <laughs> I've actually got on this long green skirt from Topshop. It's got lace in detail around the top and the bottom. Sometimes I have to like bring it in just to make it look a bit better, fit a bit nicer, if I wanted it to fit a little bit shorter. Um, and then I've also just got these little sandals, which are Bob Martens. Um, I can't remember what style they are, but yeah, sorry if my floor's got a little bit messier. The more outfits I'm trying on, the, the worse it's getting. Honestly, my bed at that half is a stink. But yeah, I just thought this was actually really cute as well. Um, just as a little like springy summer vibes. Um, and it's a different skirt like normally i only like to wear cropped not cropped mini like dresses and mini skirts but i don't know why i really like this one i think i love the color of it a lot so that's kind of what drew me to it but yeah okay guys this is the last outfit i'm gonna do today i feel like i've had a bit too much fun doing this um <laughs> but yeah so the start of this outfit is the skirt here i got this from pretty little pretty little thing <laughs> last year it's quite girly with the lace detailing again um, and it's kind of like frilled around the bottom there so scrunch it up i've paired it with this leather jacket um it's a more fitted leather jacket than the last one i showed you um i've done dot martins again and then i've paired it with the same bag from the last one just so you can have it like you can always make things a little less girly like my style can be girly but i always like to add a little bit of a twist to it uh, i've just got this um What's this called? A high neck <laughs> uh, tank kind of top, uh, which is from a Shein haul a few videos back. Um, but yeah, this is the last outfit, guys. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the outfits. There's quite a lot there. I had so much fun putting these together. So if you want to see any more, then let me know. I love styling videos. Um, honestly, fashion's so fun. But um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you could leave a like, 
uh, subscribe and ding the little bell notification. That would mean the world to me. And um, just let you know, if, just notifies you sorry of when um, I upload a new video. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm trying to stick to that um, as much as possible. Been going good so far, but um, yeah, as well, if you could leave a comment down below, that would be really appreciated. Let me know what your favourite outfit was, what kind of vibe you like, what you're looking forward to most after lockdown. Um, and yeah, if you could follow on my social media, it'll be linked down below. You might get to see some of these outfits over there, like I said at the start. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, I can't not say this about 80 times at the end. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!